All right, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week content, uh, Week 16. Week 16 offense is Tony Romo, 95 overall, long past and ground and pound cam. We'll get into his uh, elite card here after I go over the sets. So you got the TD pass for Romo, which is currently 35k, uh, decently up there. Uh, Jonathan Stewart uh, is the first card, and Texas Boy wanted this card. And I told him we get it, like an 86 overall, but I was close. Uh, and so, pretty decent stats on the Jonathan Stewart. Uh, already 2K, so if you're a Panthers fan or whatever, go ahead and pick that card up. Uh, pre pretty cheap, might as well pick it up. Uh, next is Ruben Randall. Ruben Randall is 5,700 coins currently. He's an 85 overall, long pass camp. He's got some decent stats, uh, 92 speed, 92 catch, and 92, 91 release along with a 95 catch in traffic. It's kind of the notable stats. And so Giants fans, go ahead and pick yourself up a Ruben Randall there. Not not too bad. I think that's his first card, his first like upgrade card of the year, so not bad. Next is Charles Clay, and Charles Clay's been balling out, so... Uh, definitely deserved a uh, card here because he's been playing well over the past few weeks. And so he's got an 89 speed, 94 catch, nice 94 catch. Uh, 66 run block, so not a run blocking tight end. But yeah, he's a receiving tight end, obviously, because blocking tight ends don't really get a team of the week card. Uh, 88 catch in traffic, 82 route running. Uh, not too bad of a card. Uh, so go ahead and pick yourself up a Charles Clay if you're looking, if Dolphins fans looking... Uh, the elite is Frank Gore. This Tony Rome was going to be pretty cheap because it's a quarterback, and the team of the week player is uh, the elite is a halfback. So two of the more cheaper positions. Uh, and Frank Gore kind of getting overshadowed this week by the release of Bo Jackson, uh, this flashback Steven Jackson, the free rookie legend Bo. I don't know how many people are going to pick up this Frank Gore and actually use him. So uh, just keep that in mind. His price is probably going to go down pretty low. Uh, but he's got 93 speed, which is good for Frank Gore. Uh, he's got all pretty much good 90 stats, 91 agility, 92 excel, 90 carrying, 97 ball carry vision, and 93 trucking. What is his catching looking like for those that want to use him as a wide or as a like screens and out of the backfield? Uh, he's got 67 catching, so not the greatest, but he's already down to 100k, and he came out like six hours ago. So lots of those game changer bundles being pulled, so his price should go down pretty quick. I already looked at this, so we don't need to look at that again. Uh, and then now we're going to go into Khalil Mack. How does Charles, how is Charles Woodson not getting any cards? Like, this dude is playing unbelievable on, uh, one of the worst teams in the NFL, and he has not gotten a card yet. None. None. None related to this year. His only cards are his captain and the flashback. Like, are we, we like, are they seriously not going to give him a card? Like, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, and how is Khalil Mack's card in 94? Like, are we serious? Like, this is, what is it? Antonio Brown went up two over, like, why didn't Antonio Brown get a 95? Like, we're giving guys that are actually, like, Khalil Mack, I'm not saying Khalil Mack is bad, but his highest overall card right now is, is it an 84? I think we're just to jump him up 10 overalls just like that. Like, that's just crazy. You're telling like they gave him a higher overall than Sheldon Richardson. The same overall as as Richard Sherman when they came out. Like, that's just that's just mind boggling to me how they gave him such a high overall card. Like, I, I they should they honestly doesn't is it Frank Gore has a. Road to the playoff card that's a 91 or 90? Why didn't they just make him the hero? Uh, like, of the offense. I mean, not, not like... He should have been the hero. If they would have won that game, he would have been the hero of the offense. But, uh... Not... I wasn't going to talk about... Jamie Collins has a higher overall card than Mac. I think. I don't know what Mac's highest card is. But, uh... Let's get into this. Let me stop bitching about how Khalil Mack got a card and how I'm pissed that Charles Woodson still has not got a card... But uh, Manti Teo got uh, a card here, 3,200 coins, uh, 94 tackle, and 92 pursuit. Nice look of stats there. So go ahead and pick him up if you're a Notre Dame fan or a Chargers fan. Victionary, go ahead and pick yourself up, Manti Teo. Um, and you, you guys are still, the Chargers are still alive in the playoff, which I'm pretty happy about. They need to take, I think, 
do they only need to beat the Chiefs? I think that's all that needs to happen for them now, is they beat the Chiefs and they're the sixth seed, and they will go to, I'm hoping, Cincy, because, which would be the exact same as last year, but I think they're going to go to Cincy because I'm believing in the, the Bengals tonight to upset the uh, the Broncos, and then I'm th I'm th they're going to take care of business next week against the Steelers. So I think they'll wrap up that third seed. And I think if they beat the Broncos tonight, and then they win against the Steelers next week, and the Broncos somehow on the face of the earth lose to the, Bron to the Raiders, the Broncos would go to the third seed. I'm really just hoping the Broncos lose tonight so that the Patriots can wrap up home field advantage throughout the AFC playoffs, and then uh, we could sit some of our starters and rest them on up. Uh, we're gonna we need to rest up definitely the defense. Uh, we need to give Revis a day off uh, from playing and uh, give give old Brady uh, what would that that would be two weeks off. We can give him two weeks off. And uh, Edelman needs the time to recover because uh, he's got that concussion. And uh, I think it would be good for Gronk and uh, some of the old guys on the defense like Will Fork and Ninkovich. But let's hop into Kareem Jackson here. Let me stop babbling about the Patriots. Uh, he's got 90 zone coverage and 92 speed. Uh, so not bad for a corner. Uh, the 86 man kind of is low, but for an 85 it's not terrible. So uh, Kareem Jackson, not a bad card to pick up. Uh, Derek Morgan is the next card he's an 86 overall let me go down here so that it doesn't get bought out so he is uh 86 overall right yep and he gives he has 82 speed 85 strength uh 87 excel 80 tackle 86 block shed 96 power move 72 finesse and 81 play rec so not a terrible card uh not too bad for an 86 overall and one of the few titans that have actually come out so not bad uh, and then the card that I'm going to be picking up near either the end of the week or next week or sometime uh, is this Jamie Collins, because uh, this dude's a boss. Like, those stats are pretty good. That 89 zone is nice. Uh, the 89 speed, 93 excel, 91 tackle, a 92 pursuit. Uh, really nice card, and he's a patriot, so i got to pick him up. Um, he's had a card at, like, every position, or near it, because, like he's got a left outside linebacker card. His normal card is like a right outside linebacker. Did he have a middle linebacker card? I feel like he did. Uh, so it's just a little bit weird. So, uh, or he should have gotten a middle linebacker card for, he got a card last week, didn't he? Was it last week or was it the week before that? It was whatever week. It was, it was two weeks ago. So it'd be in the Sheldon Richardson uh, because he played middle linebacker, he played the signal caller in that game, so I don't know why they gave him a right outside linebacker call card, but that's whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna be picking up that Jamie Collins, uh, and he's gonna be replacing Thomas Davis, the 86, so that'll be nice. The big hit collectible is going for 46k, uh, so a, a decent chunk, so keep that in mind. It's, uh, it's a bit up there, uh, but... Uh, both cards are probably going to look pretty nice. Uh, the Tony Romo is going to be cheap because he's a mobile. He's not a mobile quarterback, so uh, not going to be too expensive of a card. So let me go team of the week. Uh, hit Rising Stars on accident. I wonder if they're going to release a Rising Star on Christmas since it's uh, a Thursday. I wonder if they'll release one or if they'll take a week off or whatever. But we'll see. Um, let me go... 95 to 99. All right, here we go. Is Tony Romo really the only... Wait, 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 wait. Tony Romo is the only card that has a 95-plus Team of the Week item? you got to be kidding me. Um, let's compare him up against my Brady. My Brady's a 93, so... Uh, Tony, 75 speed. I guess Tony, Tony Romo's decently mobile, but 75, eh, I guess. Uh, 87 awareness, 97 throw power, 96 throw accuracy short... Uh, 94 throw accuracy mid, and 90 throw accuracy deep, 93 play action, uh, 74 elusiveness. So in the throwing stats, other than throw power, Brady has him beat by 93 Brady. And it's got better awareness, which means, according to everybody who tells me, it's it's that they get the ball out quicker, like under pressure. Uh, let's see here. Well, I, Tony Romo's got to have a better throw on the run. Tom Brady's throw on the run is terrible. Throw on the run is... They have the same throw on the run? 
All right. Play action, Tony Romo has better. Uh, but Tom Brady has better stats, pretty much better stats. So I'll, I thought about actually picking up this Tony Romo, but this Tom Brady uh, is getting the job done for me. So I don't think I'm going to pick up the Tony Romo, but that's a nice Tony Romo card. Uh, so Cowboys fans or Romo fans or whatever, go ahead and pick him up. Um, and let's take a look at this Khalil Mack. Mac, 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 Mac. There we go. Ooh, he's pretty cheap already. What are we looking at here? Please be... I might actually pick... Oh, but he's a right outside linebacker. Oh, no. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need a right outside linebacker, so never mind. I might actually pick this Khalil Mac up. Ooh. Those are some nice... Those are some nice looking stats. See, let's see here. At 85 zone. Eh. Yeah, yeah, he's got some good zone. Good play record. Or not great, good probably, but decent play record, 84. He's got 93 speed, 95 pursuit, 93 block shed, uh, 94 excel, 91 tackle. Like, like, look, he had five tackles, two tackles for loss, and one sack, and four quarterback hits. Why don't we give it to Woodson, who got an interception? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's look in here. He's got 68 catching. He has a better carry than catching. Come on. Come on. 96 jumping. Nice. Um, 96 power move. Uh, 80 finesse move. That's what you want. You want him to have power move. Wow. So he... Wow. He'd be deadly on the blitz. Uh, that's interesting to know. Okay, don't put him in man. Uh, 95 hit power. Whoo. I'm gonna have to get this Khalil Mack. I know I've just I've been pit, sitting here bitching about how Charles Woodson didn't get a card and how she shouldn't have been the team of the week hero. He honestly should not have been the team of the week hero because I'm just gonna drop it. He should have just got the elite card and Jamie Collins should have gotten the hero. But I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna pick up this Khalil Mack in a few days when his price drops. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of the Team of the Week items. And let me know uh, if you guys think anybody got snubbed or if you think, like me, and you think somebody else other than Clear Mac should have gotten the hero and he should have gotten the elite card. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, guys.